BC. Smoking Buddy Matt back again. Trying to do one of the ultimate challenges is light a pipe on video. since I did that. Codger challenge. Slow smoke. No. I have been using the matches. Because now I have three boxes of matches. And there is something about that initial light with a match. It seems like it does a a very nice complete light helps things get going hopefully stay going but in this video we are not limited uh, by relights so that may happen but the purpose of this video is video response to our friend armchair piper ed who is doing a giveaway for his four-year anniversary as a presenter and i would like to say congratulations ed four years um consistently doing videos and i think that's every week and I can definitely appreciate it, it does take a little extra effort to not only make videos but do it consistently because since I've been doing videos you know you go through periods where even though you have video ideas sometimes a lot of video ideas it can be hard just to take the time sit down and do it or uh, feel motivated to do it or whatever. So to be able to do that for four years consistently, uh, tip of the hat, tip of the haberdashery to you. And I felt it was a good opportunity um, I'm kind of getting in under the wire. I think today is the last day to submit uh, for the giveaway. And I wanted to participate. I wanted to make a video. And you're asking us, how do we choose our pipe? How do we choose our favorite pipe? Which, of course, is the pipe we're smoking right now. And I've been watching some other videos. A lot of good answers. I got a lot of good responses. People kind of tend to do it differently you know everyone has their own obviously has their own way so for me i mean I, I tend to be a little more pipe centric i guess that's how i think about it even though there are times when if there's a particular blend and a particular pipe i know smokes that type of blend well i might gravitate toward that um especially if it's a pipe I haven't had in a while. So for example, I can show you this one here. This is a Molina Barrasso nine millimeter filter. And I got this pipe back in it was like January of 2021. And I got it and I smoked it for a couple of months. Always smoked great. And I kind of put it aside and I might come back to it every now and then. But for the most part, it's it's sat in a box since then. And I would say one of the reasons for that is it has a slightly taller button than what I would prefer. 
So I'd, I'd kind of moved on to other pipes that had smaller buttons and things I enjoyed. But um, I've kind of been going through a phase uh, the first part of this year. Kind of been preferring um, more affordable options. The, uh, the cheaper, <laughs> cheaper end of uh, pipe smoking, you might say. And I knew I had this pipe, so... I wanted to get it out. I mean, it was broken in, but I wanted to put it through its paces and uh, see if it was a pipe I still liked. And I have to say, just a moment here, show you what I'm smoking in it. Sir Walter Raleigh. This pipe smokes Sir Walter Raleigh like nobody's business and when I got this pipe I broke it in with I think I had Sir Walter Raleigh I had uh, Peter Stokeby PS41 cube cut it's a great blend but I don't want to get too far off the actual uh, topic of the video so I need a pipe that kind of inspires me I mean that's especially when I buy a pipe I think we all get that, uh, we get that pad where, oh, we just, we need that pipe if, if I only had that pipe, you know, you imagine how much you're going to enjoy it. And I've accumulated a good number of pipes, and typically what happens is I end up with, I'll call it a rotation of pipes, kind of wherever I'm smoking, whether it's out here in the garage maybe in my uh, my basement pipe lounge I get some pipes around and a lot of times it ends up looking something like this I'll have a number of pipes lying around so I've got two Dr. Grabo billiards Missouri Meerschaum diplomat cob and a Missouri Meerschaum Diplomat uh, hardwood right there. And I might have a couple others lying around. Country Gentleman. My Savinelli Series 3. 129. Another random a Washington Cobb. So I get these pipes. Kind of lying around together. And I consider that my rotation. So when I go to smoke a pipe, I kind of, I just kind of look at what's in front of me and I grab the one that seems to inspire me at the moment. Or one that I feel like, you know, I want to put some, I want to put a good bowl through that one. Because pipes really, the more you smoke them, the better they get. I really do I really do believe that keep them clean maintain them and they will serve you well so I'll use whatever pipe kind of jumps out at me at the time and you know I've had this rotation going for a couple months this one I just I just added probably within the last month and sometimes I'll think about a pipe I haven't had that one in a while and I'll dig it out and that will become part of the rotation maybe another one you know it's a good opportunity to clean it up and I might set that aside for a while I don't really dedicate pipes very much. I mean, basically, it's either an aromatic or non-aromatic pipe. Um, I've got a lot here. Pretty much these right here, I, I, I would just smoke anything out of, pretty much. So, that plays into it a little bit. 
But overall, if it's a if it's a pipe I have, it's a pipe I enjoy smoking. If it's in the rotation, if it stays in the rotation, it's a pipe I enjoy smoking a lot. So that's how I do it. And once again, I will say congratulations, Ed. Four years as a presenter. It's definitely a good accomplishment. I enjoy watching. So with that, I will say you take care. Have a pipe. Take the time. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now.